telling you guys to 100% believe this, 100% to run with it, but we're in the end times. In the book of Revelation, these things come back. They weren't God created, and they're going to be destroyed in the end. The book of Revelation talks about them. So if we're living in the end times and you're reading scriptures like this again, our scripture is our God. It foretells the future. God stands outside of time. Remember that. My point is this. Yes, we. I agree with you 100%. We are definitely living in the end times. And it's not, we're just living in the end times and, and that's it. No, there's going to be things that occur. We're going to be I guess, for lack of a better term, privy to the dark ones, the dark ones, the Nephilim and all that. And that's the thing. But if, but if we, I'm sorry, we shouldn't be focused on that because that's what the enemy wants us to be focused. We just need to keep our eyes on God, on Jesus Christ, because he's going to come regardless. And nobody knows when he's going to come, but be ready. Have your relationship with God. Be ready because he is ultimately going to come. So don't worry about all this and that because, and another thing with media, whenever you hear a lot of stuff on media, it's that they're trying to cover up something else. So it's like, yeah, yeah. Keep, keep your eyes on Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth and the life. And that's my point. Yes. No man come to the father, but through him. And at the end of the day, we've got to keep our eyes on Christ because when we are believers in Christ, we can't, we don't, we don't have to be fearful of the world. 